Hey, what is going on guys? Today we are starting part one of a series I've wanted to work on for a long time. Um, basically, I want to do a full complete walkthrough on how to set up a website, um, how to use your domain, set up DNS records, proxy it through Cloudflare, run it through DigitalOcean, all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. Um, first, what I'm going to do actually is we're going to set up a Cloudflare account here. So dash.cloudflare.com is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to create an account here on cloudflare.com, and here we go. So, this is going to be a fun process. All right, okay, so I'm going to create this email right here. I actually just created it on another screen. We're going to paste this in. It looks like we need a special character, so we're going to add that right there um, into our password, and we're going to sign up for Cloudflare. So, this is completely free. Um, you don't need a credit card or anything, um, unlike Namecheap and stuff like that. Um... So here we go. We're going to add our site here. So we're going to say elevated, wait, elevated tech dot systems. That is our domain. You're going to be adding this over to Cloudflare. We're going to choose free. So they have many plans. Um, some are obviously really expensive, um, but they guarantee like 100% uptime, all kinds of stuff. But I don't need, obviously, uptime. And this is just for testing. So we're going to use this. And it looks like we have no DNS records, which is fine. Just confirm. Okay, so... Now we need to go onto Namecheap here and make some changes. So we need to remove these register servers and set up some different ones here. So let's scroll down and name servers. We need to do custom DNS. We're going to paste that one in and same for over here. We're going to paste this one in, save. There we go. So now we are done with this. Um, it's going to take a while for that to set up. So in the meantime, we're going to finish some of these settings. So automatic HTTPS rewrites. Basically, anytime you type in like HTTP um, elevated tech dot systems, it will basically forward to HTTPS, and you want that usually. Um, sometimes you can also require HTTPS, and actually for this case, I am. Um, that is called HSTS. Some domains actually require this, and we're just going to turn on auto minify. So this is this is just going to compress some files for us. Um, broadly, that's just one of their um, quicker loading methods, and yeah, we're going to finish this. Now we just need to wait for Cloudflare to work and the domains to be moved over. Um, that is pretty much the setup. So basically what I did before I started recording was I registered this domain under um, Namecheap. And yeah, you really don't need to do anything else besides that. Um, once you get your domains registered in Namecheap, you can just leave Namecheap. Um, you don't need to check it really ever. Um, everything is going to be through Cloudflare, which is really nice. Alright, so this was part one. So basically just signing up for Cloudflare. Uh, we moved our domain over to Cloudflare. Really all we have to do now is just wait for this to continue and finish. Uh, this can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 24 hours. Um, normally it takes a while, especially with Namecheap. Um, if you register your domain through Cloudflare or something like that, um, it goes a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we're pending our name server update. And you have to verify your email, so I'm actually going to do that real quick right here. Okay, so I now have my email verified, and that is pretty much all we need to do for today. Um, and this is going to wrap up our tutorial for now uh, until the name servers update. As you can see, we're still waiting here. It's going to take a while. Just got to be patient. Um, come back for part two, uh, where we are going to set up our digital, digital ocean VM, and we are going to set up DNS records and stuff from our domain to our digital ocean VM. And yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.